So this is one of the spots I was thinking for hole one. Now, that is Felangeri in the valley. You can just in the distance see baskets down there. So that is the fourth, fifth, sixth goes across the river there. Then it goes up, round over the top, loops back round. Got a little lamp in there. Um, and God, it's a beautiful spot. It really is. We're down right in the valley. So there's 40 mile an hour winds going over the top of us at the moment. I couldn't actually tell you that there are. Um, but yes, so sorry, the main way in is just up this very steep path here. Um, I'm just stepping over, you might be able to hear it underneath, what was once a managed stream, because these were like managed gardens almost up here, a managed walkway, when this was a different site many years ago. But I was looking at, uh, I mean, we're almost, it's got to be a 40 degree slope going up here, it's steep. So I was going to have a uh, first tee up here somewhere because there is actually a path that winds backs and forwards. It's been overgrown for years. You wouldn't believe it, but I've just been up there walking. There is one, um, which I'm sure Alan and the team can sort out because they are spectacular at cutting everything. Um, and yeah, so first one goes up there, which takes us to an open plateau, which is great. This is also, I don't know if this is the case yet. This is an idea I've had in my mind for the last two years. Um, this is what would probably be the last hole on the course. Again, hugely steep. Um, and we need to find a way of walking people down it safely. But it follows the stream, of course, this managed stream that comes down here um, and splits actually at this stage. There's an, another bit that comes down here. So it's absolutely, if you can imagine this opened up, it'll be absolutely lovely. This is all self sewn wood that has just grown up in the last 30 years. It's getting very, um, but the idea would be up there somewhere, 80, 90 metres up the hill. It's going to be a stand at the top, flip a putter down here. So it's in a sort of channeled valley. Um, so we'd have to make the tee for one far enough over so it's not going to be affected at all or anything coming down here. And we would have the green probably somewhere around here. There's a little platform here of one of the old paths going across. That would be a good spot for it, maybe just on the other side of that. And so it would be following the course of the stream which is very contained so it's not wet either side which is lovely so it's actually a stone lined stream basin um, I think it'll make a beautiful finish hole uh, views at the top there and over the whole of Felangeri um, and it's just one of those you want to empty your entire bag out to ace it um, but anyway we'll walk up there and see if that really is doable I need to talk to Alan and see if he thinks it's doable because that's the other thing I, I, camera does not show quite how steep this is so the, uh, the wind's died down a little bit, but the rain is hammering. We are up high on the hillside. Uh, so looking down there, that's the, I can't even think what that is. Oh, that's the, the restaurant and bar, so the patio area down there. You can see the holes in the far side there. That's the back, back six, um, wooden fort. We are up high here. Um, this is my plan for a big downhill one. So we're coming down the telephone wires. Um, However, I don't think we're going to go as far as I originally had in mind in my head because this bit isn't too steep, probably 30 to 40 degrees, so it's walkable. There's a path going up there and down there. We can find our way up and down there once this is all cut back. Um, and it comes down to this path that's already cut out. This bit onwards, the rise here, I would say, is above 45 degrees. It's hugely steep. I don't think it's a playable steepness. Um, it's a dangerous steepness to be honest so what I had wanted to do I mean this track goes from the top up here all the way to the bottom it's about 120 130 meters from all the way far back up the top there all the way down here um, it would have been a lovely shot but it's just uh, I can't see how we make it play Maggie don't you dare go off that edge I'm not going down there to get you um, you can just see the river it's flooded a bit at the moment down there it's been a lot of rain Mags this way um, but yeah, so somewhere just up here, I think what we'll have is quite a short little drop-off hole. Maybe 60 metres to about halfway down it here. Um, I'm pretty much trying to keep it within the confines, because all this will be yomped out of the way. I mean, the electricity company will be coming through to do that soon anyway. Um, if Alan doesn't get it done with his crew, but it's a walkable drop. Basket up there in front of the telephone pole, so you've got this uh, path to to backstop it and we'll probably build up a little ridge going along here stop anything rolling 
Um, and yeah, you're just trying to throw down the hill and then you come from here down to our next one, which I like the look of. Now, again, I was looking at a longer one coming up the hill from the left here, but it is just too steep. Again, the camera never, never shows it, but I'm almost sheer down there for three, four meters. Then it levels out and then it goes sheer again. Maggie, don't go down that edge. I've got brambles stuck around me. It'll be such a mud bath by the end of this. Um, but anyway, so we walk down the path here, get away from any scatter from that hole before, which shouldn't be too much for 76 meters. And our next one, Mags, going up there. Now, there was an option to go there, but I think it's just too steep. So what we're going to do is a big dog leg in par four. And I say big, it's not actually that big. It's just steeply uphill, so it's going to play big. Um, if we take out all this spindly crap here, we've got a couple of big, I don't know what trees they are, nice big ones <laughs> there's oaks in there there's beach there's all sorts um but we'll go amongst those to our landing zone which is up the top here because this is all playable it's walkable up to the right once that bramble's out of the way and the thinner whips are out of the way um so the left is still playable even if you went off this bank here you'd be able to get behind it and make a shot up and there's paths up and down, so it's, this is a reasonable one. If someone turned over, they're not going to lose their disc forever or lose their legs trying to find it. So, yeah, up we come. It's not going to be far up here, but we're into this lovely open landing zone where you're going to need to turn someone over to the right. It's probably only 50 meter shot, but it's going to play more like 100 because it's so uphill. Um, here we go, up the steep slope. So we come to here and then Oh, it just opens up beautifully. So you've got the big oak in the middle. That's gonna be the centerpiece of this hole. As we land around here somewhere, and we're gonna shoot all the way back on ourselves. So it's gonna be almost a U, a U shape coming up here, round back up that way, um, which will take us to the next hole, which should play across the top of the little shorty we just had. Um, yeah, I like that one. That's gonna be good. Uh, totally forgotten about this space last time I was here but that's going back down towards the the main course and it's just too steep to use there's a whole section there that I can't see how we can bring it into play after all at all unfortunately um, there's a couple of bits in these woods that are too steep to be useful but this one is a good one it'll be a fun way to get uphill because normally uphill is going to be a bit of a slog but this is going to take some work there's paths so Hopefully you're not going to roll the whole way. We'll probably use a few bits of bramble to block things as well. Um, if it all goes wrong. So yeah, coming back up this way. And uh, whew, I'm going to stop because it's pouring now. 